Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to Little Art Talks. For today's Five Artists in Five Minutes, we're going to be talking all about portraits. Now, portraits have been quite the thing for some time now. Back in the day before photography, it was a way for rich people to make their mark on the world. It was their way of saying, hey, I was here and I was fabulous. In modern and contemporary art, portraiture takes quite the turn as photography takes care of the documentary part. So let's talk about it. Here are five portrait painters. Alex Katz is an American figure painter. Katz began painting large-scale paintings of closely cropped faces in the early 1960s. His paintings are defined by the flatness of color and form, their economy of line, and their cool but seductive emotional detachment. Subjects include family members, artists, writers, and the New York Society protagonists. His wife, Otto Katz, has been the subject of over 250 portraits throughout his career. To make one of these large paintings, Katz paints a small oil sketch of the sitter on a mace knight board. Then he makes a small detailed drawing in pencil or charcoal. He then blows up the drawing into a cartoon, sometimes using an overhead projector, and transfers it to a large canvas via pouncing. Pouncing is a technique that was used by Renaissance artists, where an image outline is pricked with a number of tiny holes and powdered pigment is pushed through the perforations. Lynette Yedem Boachi is an artist and writer based in London. Her oil paintings focus on fictional figures that exist outside of specific times and places. In 2010, she said in a New York Times magazine interview that her work were suggestions of people. They didn't share our concerns or anxieties. They were somewhere else altogether. This lack of fixed narrative leaves her work open to the projected imagination of the viewer. Rooted in traditional formal considerations such as line, color, and scale, the subjects and the way in which they are painted is decidedly contemporary. On her predominantly black characters, she explains, race is something that I can completely manipulate or reinvent or use as I want to. Also, they're all black because I'm not white. People are tempted to politicize the fact that I paint black figures, and the complexity of this is an essential part of the work, but my starting point is always the language of painting itself and how that relates to the subject matter. Chantal Joff is an English artist based in London. She often paints large-scale portraits of women and children. She paints roughly from photographic source material, which includes family photos, advertising, fashion magazines, and pornography, then introduces distortions. Her brushstrokes on the huge paintings are unfussy, unconcerned with stray drips and blobs of paint. At times, the old outlines are still visible. She says, I really love painting women. Their bodies, their clothes, it all interests me. While the images may initially give an impression of simplicity and childishness, they have an unsettling quality which gives the work an odd, rather menacing mood. The heads are too large with staring eyes and odd proportions. Kuhinde Wiley is a New York-based portrait painter. His portraits are based on photographs of young men who Wiley sees on the street, including Harlem's 125th Street and South Central neighborhood, where he was born. Dressed in street clothes, his models were asked to assume poses from the paintings of Renaissance masters, such as Vicelio and Tiepolo. Napoleon leading the army over the Alps is based on Napoleon crossing the Alps by Jacques-Louis David. Wiley has restaged the image with an African writer wearing modern army fatigues and a bandana. Painting in a highly naturalistic manner, his style blends multiple period styles such as French Rococo, Islamic architecture, West African textile designs, and urban hip-hop. These paintings address the image and status of young African-American men in contemporary culture. The poses, connoting power and spirituality, also addresses masculinity and blackness. The artist describes his approach as interrogating the notion of the master painter, at once critical and complicit. Wiley's figurative paintings quote historical sources and position young black men within that field of power. Jenny Seville is a contemporary British painter. Her large-scale paintings of nude women often features distorted flesh, 
high caliber brush strokes, and patches of oil color. Her painterly style has been compared to that of Lucien Freud and Rubens, giving a strong, highly sensual impression of the surface of the skin and the mass of the body. It's hard to pull one's gaze away from it despite the uncomfortable subjects, voluminous and unsparing bodies placed in strange angles, extremely foreshortened and manipulated. Fascinated by large overweight bodies, plastic surgery marks, transsexuals, and hermaphrodites, she says, I want to be a painter of modern life and modern bodies. Those that emulate contemporary life, they're what I find the most interesting. So there's my pick for five contemporary portrait painters. Of course, they're not the only five, so please let me know your favorites in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this format, please check out some of my previous five artists in five minutes and subscribe for future ones. These come out every single Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.